Hi everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 1, Unit 17. We're going to start with the Duple Meter song. Ba, 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 sing with me. Duple Meter moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duple Meter moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Echo me, please. Do, do, do ta day ta do day. Do ta do day, do day ta do. Do ta ta do day, do day, do day. Do, 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 ta, ta, do. All right, I'm going to sing Slovakian folk song two times. The first time, would you move like you are dancing in molasses? The second time, would you move like you're dancing in a cloud? Feel how much freer that is when you dance in a cloud than when you're trying to move through molasses. So much resistance to your weight. Now I'd like you to join me in singing minor songs. Bum, 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 sing with me. Sing, oh, sing a minor song. Minor song, minor song. Sing, oh, sing a minor song. Resting tone is love. And when you're at the end, I would love for you to make the hand sign as we sing. Resting tone is love. Now I'm going to sing Russian folk song one. Would you just move very gently? Our song to sing for this unit is called Circle Dance. I'm going to sing it. I'd like for you just to move your elbows in circles. Echo these tonal patterns after me. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Now on solfege or tonal syllables. La, do. Mi, do. Now I'm going to sing the song a couple of times. Just listen the first time, and then if this is familiar because you've been listening to it on the audio tracks, or if you're picking it up already, go ahead and join me the second time. If not, go ahead and listen both times. Bum, 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 listen please. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 if you're ready, go ahead and join me this time. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Bum 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 bum
our tonal patterns happen in this song. The first one is la do bum bum. I'll show you where that pattern happens in the song. Bum 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 la do do bum 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 la do bum 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 bum. This time I'll show you where our second tonal pattern happens. Mi do bum bum. I missed it the second time. I hope you caught it when it happened the second time in the song. So now I'd like you to think about our first pattern, la do, and I'd like you to sing the song with me on bum. Whenever we get to la do, would you not sing, but instead audiate that pattern, hear that pattern in your head. So whenever I sing la do, just hear that in your head and be silent. Try to join me the rest of the time on bum. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. La do bum 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 bum. Did you catch the la do that was earlier in the song, the one that I missed? I hope you did. If not, we're going to go ahead and listen for the second pattern. The second one is mi do bum bum. And again, whenever you hear mi do, don't sing, just audiate that pattern. Hear it in your head. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Mi do bum bum. I'm going to sing some tonal patterns and I'd like for you to sing a creative response to the tonal patterns. So I'm going to sing some patterns in major tonality. I'd like for you to sing any other patterns in major tonality. Now I'll show you some examples of what you could do. So I'm going to sing some things from our tonic triad. Do, mi, so, mi, do, ti, do. So I'm going to sing some things from do, mi, so, some collection or different order of those. You can sing something else from that same chord, do, mi, so, or you could sing something from our dominant chord. So, fa, de, ti. so I'll give you some examples. I'm going to be me and then I'll be you four times so you can hear what this could sound like. All right, I'm going to be me and you. Here we go. Do, mi, so. You could do so, mi, do. I would do mi, do. You could do mi, I would do do mi do. You could do mi re do. I could do so do mi. You could do so fa re. So now I'm going to do four patterns and I'm going to leave some time for you to do your own responses. If this is uncomfortable or it's not really easy right away, don't worry about it. Keep trying it day after day. And then I'd like to hear what responses you have when we have our group class check-in. All right, so I'm going to do four patterns and leave some time for you to give a response. Do, mi, so. So, mi, do. Do, mi, do. Mi, so, do. So 
keep trying that this week, and then I'll look forward to hearing what you're doing when we have our group class check-in. Now let's move in triple meter after I play Down Came a Lady. The first time I play it, I would like for you to do some kind of move for your arms and your elbows. The second time I play, would you do a dance for your two hands? triple meter. So for this one, we had been doing this kind of move for duple meter. Let's try a different move for triple meter. Let's try, we're going to sway back and forth and we're going to move our arms back and forth and I'll try not to hit the piano over here as we move. Ba, 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 sing with me. Triple now feel as we're moving in three, moving in three, moving in three. Triple now feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And we chant macro beats on do. Do, do, do. Micro beats. Do da di, do da di, do da di, do da di. I'm on macro beats. You're on micro beats. Do, do, do. Switch with me. Do da di, do da di, do da di, do da di. Echo me, please. Do, 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 daddy, do. Do, daddy, do, do, da, da, dee, do. Do, do, daddy, do, da, 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 dee, do. Do, da, da, dee, do, do, da, da, dee, do. I'm going to sing French Cradle Song two times. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Can you help me sing do? Do. Would you please move gently? When I stop singing, freeze and sing. Do. Would you do a shoulder dance? to be division elongation patterns. I'm going to do a few. I'd like for you to echo after me. We're going to do our same beats this way. Do da de, do, echo me please. Bum ba bum, ba bum bum, bum ba bum, ba bum bum. Bum ba bum, bum ba bum, bum ba bum bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. Thank you so much. That. That's perfect. Got it. All right, if you're not already here, I would like for you to come to the keyboard. 
Go ahead and get yourself set up. Sit down with the piano. Check your bench distance away from the keyboard. So I like to put my hands out like this. And if you have a fall board on your piano, a board like this that falls, creatively named, then when your knuckles touch the fall board, you are just the right distance away. Make sure that you are sitting on the front part of the piano bench, not back here, because then you can't get your weight into the piano. So you're sitting on the front part. If you don't have a fall board, then try to guess about where the end of your keys is. And that's a great distance away from the piano to sit. So we are going to review finding F and then the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence when F is Do. So if you want to find that in your music moves book one, this is on page 37. So if at any point in this video you need time to grab a book, get things set up, practice what I'm having you do, just pause the video anytime. So we're finding F on the piano. Notice it's right next to our group of three black keys. I'd like you to try to find all the Fs on the piano. I'm going to chant do days, and I'd like for you to play all of the Fs on do's. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. You can either do this with me, or you can try it by yourself when we pause the video. Do day, do, here we go. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. If you're playing with one finger, remember that we don't want to stick your finger out like this, just because that's not a great technique for the piano. Instead, if you're going to play with that finger, try to have your whole hand together and just have your other fingers resting while that one finger is playing. It looks easy, but it's really quite tricky to get figured out. So do your best. Now we're going to review the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence when F is Do. Huh, that is a mouthful. And if you're not already really familiar with saying dominant tonic, Tom, oh, now I can't say it. Tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence. I need to practice. Then you too should practice saying that so that it becomes really comfortable. So this is on page 37. So we're going to sing it first, and then we're going to play, and we're going to do both versions of the dominant major chord. I'll sing first, and then I'll have you sing with me. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Here's what it sounds like. If you're so comfortable, you can join me this first time. Do, mi, so, so, ti, so, fa, re, ti, do, mi, do. If you didn't join me the first time, go ahead and join me now, please. Starting on do. Do, mi, so, so, ti, so, fa, re, ti. Do, mi, do. Then come to the piano, review playing that on the piano. Notice that the fingers are marked for each of your hands. If you go straight across on the top, it's the fingering for your right hand. The arrows show you which direction to play each chord. And if you go straight across underneath the keyboard, that's going to be for your left hand. to stretch your hand to play. Make sure that your arm is following behind your hand so that each one of those fingers is supported by your whole arm. It ends up looking like your arm is moving in a little circle as you go across. Here's what it looks like if you're doing left hand. Whole arm is moving across and I go up and forward to get to the black key. review that, then we're going to look in unit 17. This is our unit for today. So please turn to page 45 in your book, and we're going to learn 
all of these same activities and some new ones when C is DO. So we've done when G is DO, we've done when F is DO, now we're looking when C is DO. So it shows you on this page how to find C on the piano. It's right next to the two black keys. So first of all, find all the C's on the whole piano. Take your time. Get used to finding them. at the very highest key on the piano. If you have an 88 key keyboard, the very highest key is going to be a C. If you don't have 88 keys on your keyboard, or if you look around and you see that it's not three black keys plus two white keys at the top, then don't worry about it. Your highest note will be something else. Now, we're going to play a quick game to practice finding C before we actually spend much more time with page 45. So would you please sit in front of the keyboard with your eyes closed and here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to say ready, set, play. When I say ready, would you open your eyes, set, find a, find a C with your eyes, and then play, use your whole arm from your shoulder to play the C. All right, we're going to try this together. Sit with eyes closed. Ready, set, play. I'm going to do two more. Eyes closed. Ready, set, play. One more. Eyes closed. Ready, set, play. Keep practicing finding C this week. Now we're going to look at the tonic dominant tonic cadence when C is DO, or tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. Melodic meaning that we do one note at a time. DO, MI, SO, instead of playing them all at once. This makes it easier for us to sing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're only going to sing SO, T for the dominant chord. So go ahead and sing this with me. It sounds like this. Do, mi, so, so, ti, do, mi, do. If you sang it once, just practice singing it again with me. If you didn't sing it the first time, join me now, please. Starting on do, do, mi, so, so, ti, do, mi, do. Now we're going to practice playing that on the piano. Start by just using one finger. I like to use the middle finger in my hand just because it's the longest. And then the rest of my fingers can rest gently while I play. Notice that when C is DO, T is a white key. You can also practice playing and singing DO, T, do. When you're comfortable with that, try it using the fingers that are pictured in your book. Now we're going to add something new. If you've not done this before, we're going to play the major tonic arpeggio. Major because we're in major tonality, tonic because it's our tonic chord or tonic triad. Do, mi, so. Arpeggio is an Italian word that means playing the notes of a chord one at a time and repeated in a different octave. So it's not just do, mi, so, but it's also do, mi, so, just keeps on going. We won't sing that high. So when you have it on the piano, you see in your book on page 45 up here, you have those three notes in your left hand. Then we're going to play them in your right hand and your left hand is going to cross over and play do with your index finger. So it looks like this. Make sure you always use those three fingers for do, mi, so, your thumb, your middle finger, and your pinky. One more time. Just a short version. 
do, mi, so, mi, do. Short and simple. If you want to be really adventurous, you can sing up to the next do. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. So when you practice singing, it says in here on the left side, sing the syllables for a C major arpeggio. You can do the short version or the longer version. Now we're going to look at the next page and do one other new thing. This is the C major scale. So like an arpeggio was the notes of a chord or notes of a triad one at a time, the scale is the notes of a tonality one at a time. So for our C major, there are a couple of pictures here that help you to see what this looks like. I'm going to bring this closer. So up here, this is a handy guide and it shows that the look and feel of a C major scale is all white keys. When you get to other scales, you'll notice how this changes. Some of them will be black keys. And then if you see here, these are all the notes that you're going to use for a C major scale. It shows you where Do is, and just for reference, it shows Fa and So. So to play this scale, we're going to start by just using one finger. Again, I like using the middle finger. Up and down. Take your time doing that. Get used to which notes you're going to play for the C major scale. Then when you learn it, we're going to start with this hand, which is your left hand. And we're going to play the first five notes of the scale. If you notice here, it's got the fingering for that hand, and it's got all five fingers marked. So it's going to go like this. So practice that. Use a nice gentle arm movement for each one of those notes. And then when that is comfortable and easy, we're, we are going to do a cool move in your hand called a thumb crossing. And it looks kind of like this. Here's where my thumb is on the keyboard. I'm going to cross my thumb under my hand, which actually moves the whole hand over, and then play on the middle finger on la, la, re, mi, fa, so. Take lots of time to make sure that your hand and arm are not going like this. Your hand's not twisting this way to get over because your thumb can move a long way without twisting the rest of your hand. So try getting used to your thumb moving back and forth like that. And that same move is gently going to carry your hand over. So practice just to la. When that's really comfortable, then you can go ahead and play the last three notes of the scale. La, ti, do. Just practice that much for this week. Just going one direction. If you just want to play the first five notes of the scale, that is totally fine. If you want to look at the right hand, the other hand, we're not going to start at the bottom do. We're going to start at the opposite side, at the top. are backwards from each other, this scale fingering is going to be exactly backwards. So we're going to do five fingers in this hand, just like we did five fingers in our hand. Do right down to fa. And when that's comfortable, we do that same cross under to go to me. So try that. I, I will be very interested to see how you're doing with that when we have our group class check-in. Pay lots of attention to your hand. Watch the angle. Make sure your arm is be balancing behind every single finger as you play. Play with a separated touch. Play slowly and evenly and just start going one direction, starting with your pinky 
in this hand, your left hand, and also starting with your pinky in this hand, your right hand. Now, if you look at the next page, then we're going to find the partner for A for C major. When C is Do, A is La. So we're going to sing Do, La. That's pretty low. Let's try singing it a higher octave. Do, La. Sing that with me, please. Do, La. Find that on your piano. Notice we skip one light key to get from C is Do to A is La. And if you look on page 47, it will also help you to find A. So from here, we're going to play our minor tonic arpeggio. So it's exactly the same thing we did when C was Do, but it's when A is La. It sounds like this. And there's that wonderful graphic over here that shows the look and feel of an A minor arpeggio with the three keys on the keyboard are white. White, white, white. Three white keys in a row. After that, we're going to do, oh, we're going to sing the syllables for that. And again, we'll start with our short version. La, do, mi, do, la. And that's pretty low. So if you're having trouble singing it, just do your best, or you can audiate that. Just sing it in your head. La, do, mi, do, la. You can also try singing it up an octave. La, do, mi, do, la. There are some of these keys on the piano that are just difficult to sing. So do your best with that. If you're singing the high version, I wouldn't recommend going up to the next octave unless you really can get a lot of breath support and get that really in tune. If that low A is very comfortable in your voice, then you could try the long version. La, do, mi, la, mi, do, la. Either way is fine. We'll try that at our group class check-in and we can always sing it starting on a different note. Then we're gonna look at the tonic dominant, tonic melodic cadence when A is la. And what we're going to do for this one is we're just going to sing the first version, just like we did in C major for our dominant minor chord. So, la, do, mi, mi, si, la, do, la. And go ahead and play that with one finger. syllable C is a black key. La, C, La. And then go ahead and try using the fingers that are pictured. Again, make sure that you're not twisting your arm when you get to C. much of this as you can do by yourself at home. Practice these every day and then we will look at these when we have a group class check-in. Now we're going to do some improv. Turn back to page 36. This is your first page in unit 13. We have two projects on this page. The first one is a triple meter project. We're going to chant a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern, play it on one key, and then answer that with a different triple meter rhythm pattern. So if you can't think of any triple meter rhythm patterns at all, you can try this one. I'll do it once and then please pause the video and go ahead and try this activity yourself. Or you can listen to my rhythm pattern and then try the rest of the activity. Do da dee do, I will chant. Do, do, da, di, do, da, da, di, do. pattern, whatever pattern you choose. You can do just macro beats and micro beats if you'd like. Your pattern could be 
do, do, da, di, do, da, di, do. And then when you answer yourself, make sure the rhythm pattern is different. You can do it all on one key or use a different key for your answer. Okay, that's project one. Project two is also in triple meter. Going to chant another four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern, play it on one key, and improvise an idea using a connected style of articulation. Do you know what? I thought these looked a little different than what I had prepared because I'm looking on unit 13. So you can do those projects. Absolutely, you can do those triple meter projects. But let's also look over at unit 17 where we are for today. So if you were following along with that project we just did, that was on page 36. I would love for you to do that this week. Trying a triple meter rhythm pattern and answering it is a wonderful thing. And then we're also going to look over on page 44. This is unit 17 where we are for today. Notice that up at the top, we have a couple of things. It's reminding you that in minor tonality, our tonic pattern is la, do, mi, or I'll sing it up. La, do, mi. Our minor dominant pattern is mi, si, ti, re. And that we sing those tonal syllables. We try not to speak those. Now the project on here is reminding us where C is on the keyboard and helping us to use tones from the C major scale. So this one's in duple meter. So first of all, you locate every C on the keyboard, find all your C's. Chant a duple meter rhythm pattern. And when you improvise with this, we're going to use notes from the C major scale Remember, those are all our white keys from C is Do up to C is Do. You could do anything all over the piano, but make sure your first tone is Do or Mi or So. All right, so let's try a duple meter rhythm pattern. Do, De, Do, I will chant. Do, de, do, do, data, do. Sounds like I need another one. I could do another one to answer myself. Oh, I feel much better. Sounds finished now. The next thing is to improvise a gentle sounding idea. That one was more hoppy and Hoppy and energetic. Hoppy. How's that for an adjective? I think I'll use the same rhythm pattern. Do, de, do, do, de, de, do. So try different things. You can use that rhythm pattern that I just used, or you can come up with your own rhythm pattern. Now we just did a project in triple meter. We pulled one from unit 13. And I'd like you to try two other projects this week. So for one project, I'd like for you to improvise a triple meter idea on sets of two black keys. You're going to use a four macro beat rhythm pattern. Before you start, decide if it's going to be loud or soft and then chant your rhythm pattern and play with that on sets of two black keys. Here's, I'm gonna give you an example. Do, da, di, do, here I go. Do, do, da, di, do, da, di, do. I played loudly, so I had to decide that before I started. So practice that every day, please. And then the other project that I'd like you to do, which is not in your book, is try different arrangements of tonic triad tones in major. So we're in C major. Just to help us remember C major, we're going to play an arpeggioed C major tonic triad. Arpeggio is now an adjective. Sing the tonal syllables, 
Do, mi, so. Sing with me. Do, mi, so. Now try playing other arrangements of those three notes and then sing them after you play. I'll do a couple. Also sing while you play. So try different arrangements of those, try them every day, and then play some for me when we have our group class check-in. The last thing we're going to do today is some review. We're going to review rope swing, which was in our previous unit. This was in unit 16. Just to help you remember, I'll show you what this sounds like. Take a look at the music information box. Notice we're in triple meter. So we're going to do da di do. We're in major tonality, so we're going to be do mi so mi do ti do. Do is F, which we were finding earlier. So you can play your tonic dominant tonic cadence. Then F is do, just to get you ready. And we start on me. Mi do mi. Check out your fingers and hands. Get yourself set up right in between the keys that you're going to use. Find your starting finger in each hand, and then go ahead and watch me play. Do da di do, here I go. So notice the pattern is the same for the first three of our patterns. in this hand, then in the other hand, both hands move up and they do it together. Our last pattern is the same except we end. If you have not gotten to play this with the duet, then please go ahead and get ready to play that solo part again. Pause this, take as much time as you need to practice, and then come back and I will play the duet part with you. Do da di do, ready, play now. Do da di do, do da di do, do da di do, do da di do. Di do, di do. I'll play it one more time without singing your part so you can really hear how the two parts go together. Do da di do, ready, play now. to your audio track 38 and then you can play the duet with the student part. So please at least perform it with the duet if you've not done that before. If you've already performed with the duet then try adding connected style and separated style this week. The other review that we're going to do is in units 7 and 8. So I'm going to turn all the way back so I have marked with my pencil here. We're going to start in Unit 8 with Root 76. This is on page 25. Get yourself turned over there. Pause me whenever you need to. And then I am going to show you how to play Root 76. It's probably been a while since you played it. And then I'm going to show you the duet part. All right, so I have my hands and fingers ready. It's in triple meter. And I'm going to start with do da di do. Here I go. So remember the first pattern is do da di do da di. So this, excuse me, this hand and then this hand together. That's why in your book it has this line across and double S twos. Then you move both hands up. They play the same thing. Pattern three, they move up again, play the same thing. Pattern four, we can't go up again. We've run out of keys, so we have to play in the same place. Do, da, di, do. And when you play the do at the end, it's both of your pointer fingers. 
Now, here's the student duet part. So this is going to be way over on the other side of the keyboard, the low side of the keyboard. Your fingers and hands are marked in the student duet part. And I will show you, just so you can see where on the piano this is going to be. And I'd like for you in your book to circle where the student duet part is going to go. And then get both of your hands ready over here. Pause this as you need to. Try out those notes. Notice your S1 and your S2. And then listen to me play that. So the student duet part is going to start and then it will play this pattern all the way through while the student part plays. So I'm going to chant the do da di do ready play as I play the first two student duet patterns. Do da di do ready play pattern one for the student two three four. So the whole time for you, you're playing. six times, two for your intro, and then four times for the four pattern of the student part. So I'd love for you to try the student duet part and I will play the student part with you. So take your time, if this is later in the week, come back to this, take note of how many minutes and seconds you're at right now in the video so that you can come back to this point later in the week and play with the student duet. All right, so you're going to be the duet, I will play the student part. And I'm gonna breathe with you and help you play that first do da di do ready play. So I'll chant two do da di do's with you. All right, are you ready? Do da di do, 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 do da di do. You can also go to track 22 for the audio tracks that go with book one, and you can hear the student duet part. They'll play this, I think they'll play the student part first, and then they play the student duet part. When they play the two parts together, you can play along with the student part. All right, so we're also going to look over at unit seven. There are two songs in unit seven that we're going to review. First, Porcus at Play on page 22. And go ahead and listen to me after you find your hands and your fingers for this piece. Notice your hands are not going to move. They're staying in one spot. And here's what porcus at play sounds like. Do, day, do, here I go. just move your hands. <gasps> what is going on? What's going on is that you play the whole song in this spot without moving your hands, and then you play the whole song again in a different place. So I'm going to play it one more time. You also may have a mistake in your part in your book that's been corrected later. Notice it's going to be these three fingers that you're going to use to play this hand, and you probably figured that out. So just mark that if that's not already there. All right, we're going to look at the student part together. I'll play it one more time, and I'll chant the rhythm while I play. Oops, I'm going to write spot. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, 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 day. student duet part, I'll go ahead and play that. That's listed here in the box. It's going to be in the upper staff and it's going to be, I forgot to circle this one, right over here. So this is where you will find the student part on the piano, the student duet part. So go ahead and circle that in your book, please, if you haven't already done it. If you already know the student duet part, you can just review it and play along. 
And you may have noticed that I marked a secret key that I'll show you in just a minute. So there are three keys marked. It goes like this. You get to do the intro again. So I'll breathe and show you that intro. Do, day, do, do, day, do. Then you have pattern one, two, three, four. So you're playing four times with the student part, and then you get to play those four patterns again. One, two, three, four. Before we talk about the secret key, just remember that this pattern that you're playing is do, day, do, do, day, do. Here's the secret key. This key right here is the ending. So do 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 whoops this one do 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 and you're gonna cross over just like we did for our scale with your pointer finger to play that secret key at the end. If you've already done the student duet, then please go ahead and add some other things in this song. Try playing the student part in a connected style, in a separated style, loudly, softly. Try the rhythm pattern of the whole song, and then show me whatever you've done. Whatever you do today, go ahead and this week mark on the lesson side, and then show me when we have our group class check-in. And then let's look at the bumblebee. We're going to review that. Take, it, take your time, find where your hands are going to go, find the fingers you're going to use. Notice that both hands move for this song. And see if you can pay attention to where my hands move. We'll practice that. Do, da, do, do, here I go. I love this. It's like a bumblebee is just flying around from flower to flower to flower to flower to flower to flower, which is really what they do. It's, it's very descriptive. Okay, so notice all the way through the song, it's alternating hands. One hand, the other hand. One hand, the other hand. One hand, the other hand. In exactly the order that you have of the S1 and S2. So that's your first thing. The second thing is, we're going to block it. We did this a very long time ago. Start with this hand, your right hand, then your left hand, then your right hand moves up, left hand comes to join. Play the up one again, left hand goes back down, right hand joins, and then you end on the key in your middle finger of this hand. So one more time with that blocking. starts on the S1 or the S2 key and it goes away and back. And you can just chant do da di. Now, don't get caught in the duple meter trap with this song. This song is a duple meter trap. I'm going to play it with the duple meter trap. Are you ready? Make sure before you start that your hands are totally, totally ready to move back and forth. You know where they're going to go. Start by chanting triple meter. Do, da, di, do, ready, play now. And then keep chanting do, da, dies. Make sure they never stop and never pause as much as you can as you go back and forth. Do, da, di, do, ready, play now. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do. Once you're comfortable with that, that's easy, that's familiar, then go ahead and try playing in a connected style, a separated style, play loudly, play softly. 
chant the rhythm pattern of the whole song all at once, perform that rhythm pattern by playing it on one key, and then create with that rhythm pattern by making something new. Whatever you've done that's new, please mark on the lesson side and then show that to me when you have your group class check-in. Please mark that those are new things by marking today's date, and then I want to see you do all of those things. All right, just in summary, if you go back and look at the first page of Unit 17, page 44, if you look at that bottom left part of the page, it says book and listening assignments. So just to review, we're reviewing rope swing, which we did, that's in Unit 16. Play with a consistent tempo. So as you play, try to keep those do da di do do da di do patterns going straight through without stopping. Finish Unit 7 review. That's what we just did with Porpoise at Play and the Bumblebee. So try to finish those things if you can. Begin Unit 8 review. That's Route 76, where we learn to play the duet part. Students learn to play the C major arpeggio, melodic cadence, scale, and the A minor tonic arpeggio and cadence. That's all of our cool stuff in Unit 17. Learn, oh, oh, back over here. Yes, learn the duet part for Route 76. That was back in Unit 8. Students read the music information box. So whenever you're playing a song like, I'll turn backwards because we don't have any new songs in Unit 17 because of all of our cool activities. So whenever you're playing a song out of the book, use your music information box. Trickle meter, major tonality, do is F, start on me. And when you read those, try to think through those things. Audiate those. Triple meter, do da di do, do da di do. Major tonality. Do mi so mi do ti do. Do is F. On an F on the piano, play your tonic dominant, tonic melodic cadence so that you're really ready for F. And then start on me. Do me. So that you're ready for those things. So read those and audiate the things that you're seeing in the music information box. Number three, listen to this unit on the recording and echo the patterns. Listen to the next unit. So this unit starts on track 39, and we go all the way through the end of unit 18, which is track 42. So the audio tracks for this book, remember it's the yellow book. You can download these from musicnotesforpiano.com if you don't already have these. And those are tracks 39 through 40, what did I just say, 41, 42? Oh dear, I have to look. 42. Practice new marked pages, so everything you did today or this week that you haven't done with me before, please mark today's date whenever you start them on the lesson side. Use the checklist. Only do those things that are marked. Don't necessarily try going ahead. You can always review things that you've done before. And study skills. Think about the letter name of Do before beginning to play a major piece. Is it G or is it F or is it C? Learn to sing the song to sing, which is our circle dance. That's on track 39. And listen to the pattern CD. Thank you for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 1, Unit 17. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.